We're lucky enough to be speaking with Michael from the website Volt Paper Scissors today on our behind the scenes App Inventor interview. Michael is an educator who uses some very simple materials to teach some advanced concepts. He uses conductive tape, photo sensors, paper, and of course App Inventor. Some of the simplest things you can use to teach physics, programming, electronics, and other topics. And kids don't even know they're learning these things while it's happening. He has a series of workshops that he's offering and many of them involve App Inventor programming. We're so excited to have Michael with us today and hear more about the workshops. Basically, I'm what I'm working on most of the time is, as you mentioned, paper circuits, like um, inventing creative stuff that you only use paper, conductive tape, and simple electronics. And I think this concept is really um, approachable um, for for teachers that are not experts on the topic and also kids that are new to the topic. And using paper and my templates that you can print is a very visual approach to electronics. So um, what you see is more or less what you get. And so this is a really simple entry point to electronics. For the smartphone uh, robot, I took um, a, a step further to try and see how far can I take the uh, the concept of simple electronics and paper and how far can i take it and that's when i decided to put in the smartphone into the equation to have something programmable um, that i can work with yeah to me what's amazing about this one project is that it offers a whole sweep of different skills from programming an app to putting the app in a phone and a robot so kids see the robot moving around and obeying the instructions of the app but then it offers a whole different slate of skills about electronics, transistors, photo sensors, and electricity, all with simple uh, electronic store parts. Yeah, you have the, um, like you have the basics about electronics and how a transistor works. Um, and then you have the programming part, how to program an app, but then you have to put it all together so that it's a moving object that can drive around and right. Um, I don't know, listen to your voice commands or something like that, um, talk to you. Um, yeah, so that's, uh, that's basically why, why robotics is such, is such an amazing topic because it involves so much, so many disciplines and also it, um, it's very inspiring and sparks imagination of, whoa, I want the robot to do this or that. How can I, can I do it? So it's a really an open-ended learning experience, I think. What do you think is the perfect age range for these workshops? Uh, so I have two uh, versions of the robot um, right now, and I have the this is the paper version. So I have them here, the paper version using the conductive tape. So that's the gray stuff here yeah. that makes the circuit. Yeah. And the uh, paper version, I think, is probably doable for I think nine is a good age to maybe eleven and. For older kids, I think this version is a bit better because it's more powerful and has a bit more possibilities. Um, it uses only really, really standard components that you can get everywhere. Um, but it uses a breadboard instead of the paper circuit um, because there's more power involved and uh, I think it's a better option to use a breadboard. So this is for older kids, probably age 11 and up. So that's probably what I would, would recommend here. Yeah. A lot of innovation here that we should just unpack here. We don't, we've yeah. already thrown out the microcontroller, which causes uh, kids, uh, you know, assembling block and programming and connecting it in with the USB, all that stuff. So <laughs> you have just swept away a lot of impediments for kids. Yeah, exactly. I think that's um, a good summary um, of what's happening. So, um, yeah, basically all you, you need is this little combination of light sensor and transistor and uh, it makes, it reads the brightness on the screen and it's more or less light transmitting the information from the, from the smartphone to the, to the motors. And so, yeah, it's a very simple circuit. So I even call it, it's just a hack to yeah. turn a smartphone into a robot basically because in the end, what you do, you slide in your smartphone. Um, there are these light sensors um, already hooked up and so you're ready to go. 